Greetings and salutations, everybody. This is Neg Primer. Uh, we're jumping right back into it. Uh, when apparently I hit the button to start and stop recording, it skips to the next level. Ah, oh, this isn't my house. Uh, which, by the way, we're still playing Bee Buddy, in case you couldn't figure that out. But uh, this is part two. Ah, uh, this isn't my house. Float about and have a nose around. I almost said hose. Oh, you've got no nose. Never mind, do what you can, little chap. I think we're also underwater, is uh, the impression that I get. So uh, I don't know how having a nose would do me any good. Can I jump into this or uh, no? Okay. I'm just strictly exploring right now. Oh, hello. So yeah, you can see each level has its own theme, uh, both in music and actual art direction. Uh, or color direction, at least. <laughs> and we got these guys, too. I was out scouting today and a big white bubbly thing popped out of the ground. A big white wubble- <laughs> A big white bubbly thing? They're the worst. I know, right? And it just kept staring at me. So it had eyes then. Uh, now that you mention it, I'm not sure it did. But something was staring at me. Ew. I don't know if that's ew worthy. Why are the gates shut? There have been some strange sightings in the area. Some little devils already ruined the prince. Maestro's royal address. Oh, so that guy was Prince Maestro? So he's not taking any chances this time. I kind of assumed that he was like the head of a guard or something. But uh, I guess that makes sense. Because yeah, here he is again. Good Symphonians! Your Prince Maestro shall thwart the same threat to my... I mean, Symphonia's greatness! Do not fear. I'm packing my best bongos. What? Not another step. Wow. So they aren't gonna arrest me, but they are gonna they are gonna put an invisible wall up to keep me out. Okay, fine. Be that way. There's another guy down here. I think Prince Maestro has gone and woken the buddies up. The stories Mama told me were true. Oh dear. I think I'm supposed to, I mean, name of the game is Beat Buddy. Wouldn't I be one of the buddies? So we're... Yeah, I'm getting a little entranced with this game, and it's, uh, it's music. Uh, fire snails. Let's. Ooh, oh, 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 no, no! Ooh. See, I got cut pretty bad on those guys. See, the music, man, the music in this game is crazy. Uh, uh so yeah, it looks like I am supposed to get in here. Wait for you to switch back. Actually, shoot. These are just health, so I don't really have any need for that right then. Okay. Oh, I can't go through there. Um, this, so this is another thing. I actually recently played Ori in the Blind Forest. Uh, that's such a beautiful game that it's super distracting. And the biggest thing with that is, for starters, there's two different things that really make it with that game. Uh, that's the particle effects and the foreground objects. And this one uh, is not as crazy with the particle effects, but the uh, the foreground objects. Uh, the foreground objects are making it uh, a little bit hard to tell the difference. Nothing from you. I gotta wait for you to finish spitting. 
And then I also gotta have that thing. Oh, I didn't mean to hit you there. <sighs> timing- oh! Timing on this one's gonna be kind of a pain. These pads are a little bit finicky. It does seem like you have to hit them kind of at the precise point sometimes. I think... I don't think I have anything to fear from those fire snails. Uh, as long as... Ah. As long as I'm being bounced by one of the bongas, is what I was about to say there. Obviously... Oop. Oh, come, oh, come on! Like I said, the ground... Uh, is kind of the thing that's getting in the way here. Uh, and a lot of these indie games, uh, even though Ori in the Blind Forest isn't an indie game, uh, have this... Ah! <laughs> have this... Oh, I almost died there. Uh, have this habit of... Uh, trying to make their games really pretty and it works. But it also does detract from the game aspect of it. <sighs> Have you seen these neat tricks these plants can do? Stop messing with the wildlife. You never know when it's gonna mess back. When I throw something into the red one, it comes out the green one. Get one to make me a sandwich and then I'll make you impressed. Aww. Okay. So we heard them, we can't go talk to them or anything. And so yeah, now we uh, we basically have some portal fun. Uh, and eventually these come become kind of maze-like. I think I made it through level two uh, when I originally was playing this. Um. Okay. Point this one up here. Oh, you hit me off over this direction. Uh, can I warp from this one to that one? I don't know if I can. At least not yet. Um, oh. Okay. See, like there, there's nothing that really tells me there that I should be able to fit through all that. Because uh, you can see certain parts of this, it actually, like, right there. My guy is too big for that gap. Uh, the only way of getting rid of that is uh, the colliders on these walls are not matching the walls exactly. Okay, so I have this. Was I not paying enough attention, or...? So yeah, now we're starting to get to the part where you might have to backtrack a bit. Okay, I can go far enough for that. Ah! And there's spikes right there. Oh, and there's bubbles pushing me up into the spikes. So yeah, I left the, uh, I left that thing back there. Um, thinking that was a good idea at the time. But evidently it wasn't. I like how menacing those things look. And I did the exact same thing. I forgot there were spikes up there. It doesn't help that there's air pushing me up. So we're gonna do that and then that's gonna open this. Uh, which is going to... Uh, let us zigzag up through here. Okay, I think that's... I think the way you can tell those are doing it is they're highlighted. Uh, turning these things is a little strange, because it's not a left-right. You kind of have to, um...
Like, your character kind of tries to go to where, uh, where the joystick is. <coughs> Excuse me again. I've also had a cold this week, um, and I'm still not completely recovered from that, so I am still a little bit, uh, sore throat and all. Just a little bit, though. Uh, if I was that bad, I would not be doing this. I would be keeping my mouth shut separately. <laughs> okay. Let's not just let that float down anywhere. Okay, so we gotta take this back over here. Those rocks regenerate, apparently. Ugh. So th you're supposed to be underwater or something here, so the controls are just a little bit finicky. He knows exactly where we're supposed to go next, which, thanks, buddy, now that I've cleared the path. I think that's the joke. But, uh, do you see that? It's a Mark IV gyrating snail gun. Quite, packs quite a punch. I'll be at a slightly small one. Hop on and I'll set it up. So now we get chapter complete. And I think there are three chapters per. Uh, that's, that says nothing. That also says nothing. Okay. Uh, okay. So X. Oh no. I can't tell what you're saying, buddy. Can I kill these things with it? Oh, I can hold it down. And then kill them. So I can be like, yeah, I want these, man. Oh, it overheats. Of course it does, that makes sense. Yeah, see, the music in this game, I am digging it, but I think actually that's one, that might be one of the things that put me off originally, is uh, that it is such an auditory experience. Those, I'm assuming, hurt me? Yep. Because <laughs> they don't instantly kill me. That's as far down as I can get. Uh, see, <clears throat> there's that camera lerp I was talking about last time, where uh, you can kind of just cheat your way off the screen. Um, it's a pretty common thing to do. Uh, yeah, ah! This is just constant. There is no brakes in this one. The gun is on the wrong side for me here. Okay. Can I kill these guys? No, I can't. Oh, yeah, I'm getting like I'm getting really hypnotized by the music. That's absolutely what, cut, what put me, uh, not turned me off of this game, but made it so I didn't come back. It's just, man, the music is, uh, is a little bit too good, maybe? I don't know how to classify it. Um, I mean, it is repetitive as well, so as much as I do enjoy it, uh, having that beat constantly go uh, uh, can, uh, can wear on you. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't want to listen to any song 
over and over again for the rest of your life. <sighs> and listening to one song that's 30 minutes long have to be a good song. I mean, it have to be like Rapper's Delight or anything or something. Ah, I bet you... I bet you there was stuff up there, but I can't get that far back. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... Uh. Man, you can't go back in this game at all. <laughs> or in this area. I wonder if something is making that other noise, the trumpet noise. This looks more familiar. Dude, stop breaking my ship! Pay no attention to everything is fine. The little heart shedding is perfectly normal. I don't think it is. You better go ahead and I'll catch up. And don't forget how to tell Harmony how much of a help I'm doing. Yeah, Harmony... Harmony thinks you're a creep. I can already tell you that much. Buddy. Where did they go? I... Oh man. Asking for problems here. Now the music is gone. Here, start up. <laughs> Sir, it's my duty to inform you that you are trespassing. <laughs> Let's see your papers. I don't think it has papers, dude. Uh, I don't think he has papers. I must take down his particulars. Name? Uh, could you spell that? I think it was Eric. I think we're gonna need a bigger notepad. Was that a Jaws joke? Boy, come back! So the company that made this, I'm pretty sure, is uh, Danish, German, Swedish, uh, something European. Uh, I feel reasonably confident in that. Uh, so it's interesting. They must have actually hired somebody to do the localization, and not uh, not just gone on Google Translate. But it's, it is also interesting because names like Harmony and Melody are actually names in the in English. Makes me wonder if they are also in whatever language these people are from the country of. <laughs> so I don't know if they speak uh, German or Swedish or whatever. Is this? Am I moving forward? Yes. I'm gonna. Purplish pink diamonds mean. I uh, mean, I haven't been here before. They all have names and I'm just B-Putty. Nobody ever gives me a name, I don't think. <laughs> There's another one of those things, but it's all spiky. The soldiers. That's weird that that popped up uh, off screen. Hello! Uh... So it's coming off right after me. Is this... do I have to, I have to kill that first? Okay. That sounds familiar. So I need to dodge them. Music there is changing a little bit. But yeah, that's, uh, that's, that is the one thing that, um, that's the thing that's both this game's biggest blessing and its biggest problem, uh, at least from what I've seen. It's the music. The music is really good, but it is still just a single song that's going on forever. Uh, what is that over there? Oh, that's another one of those jellyfish, only this one has really long tentacles. And it's 
holding a uh, ball of some sort. <laughs> All right, let's get through here with the crazy spiky things. Okay. And then when we do this... See, I don't think I can be hurt by these spiders. Uh, by the lava snails, I mean. <laughs> I do like how when you get hurt, it does a uh, musical note particle system. I believe those are eighth notes. I'm gonna talk like I know what I'm talking about because I took one music class. Okay, where do you spit me out? Oh, am I supposed to drop this in? Nope. Uh. So that kind of forces me back out. Now we open this. Now when we go back is this one, right? Yeah. No. Okay. So it does use it does use a number of particle effects in this game. Uh The uh the kind of biggest one is for the teleporting so far. Uh, I mean, you get hit by musical notes. Or rather, you get hit and it shows musical notes. This is facing the other way, so hopefully I'm pointing at... And this is gonna have to point in this direction. Make sure it's actually pointing at the right thing. This we're gonna have to readjust a little bit, I think. See, even those, even the the, uh, the mirror things, I don't know what to call those. Ooh. Even those give off a uh, drum noise. And here's somebody's house. Oh, I didn't even see you there. At last, I thought Melody would never be able to get you out of bed. Oh, you're not Melody. Clef's got something out the back that might help you. Clef... Uh, like a cleft note? Or is it cleft note? I don't know. Like I said, I need to start, kind of stop pretending I know what I'm talking about with music. Uh... There are, like, cave paintings of musical symbols in here. So we got like a sharp symbol, uh, we got more notes, we got all kinds of notes. The music switch. Oh, no! Oh! I'm trapped. I hit those. So it's all open when I do this, and then just all four of them are closed at the same time. Um, which is interesting. I don't know how I'm supposed to use it. How do I... Am I completely missing something? Oh, I bet you I have to, like, time it so one of these... Uh, I can get one of these green bubbles through. I bet you it's exactly what's going on here. Hopefully, just one will do it. <laughs> okay. So that got me some more, uh, more of those pink purple diamonds. Uh, was that all I was over here for? Apparently. Hey, look at you flicking switches and everything. Genius! If we don't get 
our temple back. Oh, jeez. And return to sleep soon, then the music of Symphonia will stop forever. So the prince won't be able to control it. That idiot wouldn't know a beat if it hit him on the behind. Ah, get it, cause beat. He's just creating chaos. He's the one causing these parasites. What can we do? First we need to get Melody's sleeping chamber back. The prince has it in a camp not far from here. We know where that is, hop in. So it's interesting, because they say the parasites are killing the music, but they're the ones making the music right now. Except for the ship. The ship seems to be causing all music. Strange smell around here. Don't look back, just drive. Bronco. Yee. That is a big ugly monster. That was an interesting noise. Like, I don't... See, and the scale is all weird, too. For all I know, that could be the size of a freaking clownfish, or a beta, or something. Ah. Oh! Oh! There's walls! Ooh. Screen shake! And I can't get through. And I died. Yeah, that's uh, that's how I do. Jeez, you do not want to let me through. <laughs> okay. You really have to get the timing on these things right. See, in this one, I don't think the camera is paying any attention to me at all. It's just moving. And if I fall off the camera, then I die. Okay. I'm not worried about picking up each of these pink things. I'm just not. <laughs> I still haven't really seen what they actually get yet. I think they're basically just like coins in a Mario game, uh, only you don't have lives here. Which, if we wanted to talk about something, we could talk about the fact that why does Mario even have lives anymore? Oh well, look, it's another one of those parasite things. This one looks like this one looks real mean. Like you'd sell your shoe, your granny's shoes. Give him the old one too on his, that white noggin of his. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, I have to do it in beat. Da, da. Ah! Okay. Yeah, so now we have enemies that we have to beat in time. See, and that looks... isn't that just another whitehead thing? Kind of like a big pimple. Um... So where is he knocking me? He's knocking me into that. I bet you there's a switch. <coughs> Up here. <clears throat> Jeez, excuse me. Okay. Apparently I'm not wasn't quite perfect on that one. Cause it uh where's this gonna hit me too? Okay. 
Uh, is there anything I can do with that right now? No, there is not. We need to do nothing. Fire snails. Um. Uh, okay. There's nothing up over there. Ugh. These bubble areas. I'm not a big fan of. In the rhythm. Um, I thought, I think I've beaten this, but I'm getting achievements, uh, awkwardly enough. So let's, uh, let's aim this up at this one, which is not aimed properly, so it's not going to do anything. It's at this one. Hey, well the two of those lit up. Okay. Let's make sure there wasn't something else up here I was supposed to be doing. Alright. So now we're back at this. Oh, but then... Yeah, that doesn't... Okay. Be a jerk about it. Oh, I can't grab this one. I can block it. I feel like that's gotta do something. But apparently not. So... That's got a point there. Let's try this with that pointing at the right place. Let's see. Okay. That hit me pretty far. Ow. There's no music playing right here. One of those guys that's gonna spit me out in the next area. Another one. Ah. Um. See, again, I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go. Uh, which means. Ow. Uh, which means I'm going to kind of quite by accident go the way I'm supposed to go. What is that? So both of those have to be knocked in. Oh! And hopefully just this one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure this is exhilarating. Um... <laughs> I'm trying to... why is that not going? Okay. Um, I'm trying to kind of balance talking and listening to the music anyways. And then, yeah. It's, uh... Like I said. Not exactly super simple. And then that opens up that. And hopefully I'm not gonna get killed. Thank you for wasting my time with that. Hey, I got this, bro! <laughs> it seems like Prince Maestro has stolen more temple parts. No sleep for us yet. He's taken, he's taken parts to the ruins. He's planning some kind of ritual to take control of our music. I'll take this back. I'll take back what's left of our temple if you borrow him. Alright, so that should be... yep, there we go. There's, uh, level 2. Looks like about another 33, 34 minutes, 45 seconds. I started a little bit late on that one. But, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in.
I will uh, see you next time.